G'day guys, welcome to another Tuesday night in the man cave. Okay, so tonight what we've got going on is I've done all those signs for all the different areas around here. There's one particular sign that I do and you'll most probably see it and you'll go, what the hell, Mark, I did it, it was wrong. Anyway, you'll see what's coming up there. Um, what else? I, I polished the Guardian Bell on uh, Harry just for the hell of it. Uh, we fix up all the, uh, the siding of Nays on the outside of Nays um, woodshed, just make it all prettier with all wood and put a sign on a door and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, we managed to get a um, sticker for the sticker board. I thought there wasn't going to be one for this week, and I just grabbed one today when we went to the post office, so that was uh, that's cool. That's coming up. And what else have we got? I'm not too sure. Let me have a look. Oh, we've got a uh, tip for the whippersnappers. All right, so let's get into, I'll show you all those signs. All right, so not to bloody confuse myself anymore, we're taking down the man cave sign. So this is no longer the man cave extension. We'll go and put this up over there, and then we'll whack up the new sign in here. Rightio, so now, what the devil, what are you doing? You know they're watching. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Now, bloody beauty. You having fun? You having fun? What are you doing? You're ringing the guardian bell, are you? That was messing with her. All right, now we're gonna put those new signs on. Here's the sign and I made it myself. The stable. <laughs> All right, let's whack her up. Booyah! Cool, so. Uh, I've got to get rid of this. Hang on. So I've got to now cover that, uh, what I wrote there, extension, because it was the man cave extension, but it's not anymore. It's the bloody stable. All right. But we're going to put up the, the workshop sign, and then I'll, uh, I'll work something else out to do that. All right, guys, so I've got a little bit uh, creative on this one. Hopefully I can get in here. Oh. What are we racking about there? Does that look all right? Oh. Bloody ripper. Well, there you go, guys. I reckon that's not too bad. It's a little bit crooked. I'll see if I can live with that. Otherwise, I'll straighten it up. But um, yeah, you've got to be creative with the old uh, bits and pieces all on it and those doodads. <laughs> all right, so now I've got, to, uh, I've got to do that little cover up of the extension. All right, so small piece of uh, plywood. We're just going to spray it black. The man cave, the workshop, the stable, alright so the last thing we've got to do is fix up Nay's doorway thing into her woodshed. This whole brick wall thing, it's always been a real ugly bloody eyesore of a thing. So what we're most probably going to do is put up some trim around here, paint the door, paint the trim, and this 
This is a sign that uh, Nay made and she just didn't like it and it's just been left in the bloody pile of crap. So we reckon we'll repaint that and we'll put some type of thing on there. And that'll get whacked on there. All right, so not sure if we're gonna get that in this uh, man cave Tuesday, it might be the next one, but anyway, there you go. All right guys, so everybody was obviously laughing and screaming the whole time that I was doing this because it was supposed to be iron horses. I don't know if you guys realize that or not. <laughs> so I have now, <laughs> I thought I was so clever as Nay came home and I go, Nay, come and have a look at all the signs and look at that one and this one and then I bring her into here. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, ah, uh... <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, wasn't quite Not right. So good. So I've redone it. Iron horses. Now, if the mo, if the if the bikes were had uh, female names, this might have been appropriate. <laughs> but they haven't. So <laughs> that's what it is. Iron horses. All right, there you go, baby. Is that is that much better? That is much better. Grammatically, it is, and it's spelt. Correct. Excellent. Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, guys. That's uh, now giving me a clear designated areas in around the backyard. It's no big deal either way. It was just a bit of fun, a bit of mucking around, playing with saws and drills and sanders and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, you might have noticed the dog when it jingled me uh, garden bell. I noticed it's all gone all tarnished or whatever you want to call it. And I thought I might give it a polish. Let's have a look. All right, guys, so here's the guardian bell that I was talking about. And as you can see, it is all cruddied up. It's actually got a quite a bit of a bash in it because, you know me, I don't take Max in the most appropriate places. But, all right, let's see if we can uh, clean that up. What I've got, I've got this stuff. Bright shine. And I'll see if that does anything. But I reckon this is gonna be the stuff to use. I've used this stuff heaps. It's um, auto sole metal polish. This stuff works really, really good. All right, so this bright shine stuff, um, I think it's like, you know, it's old school stuff. So you can see that. Um, basically, you just pull some of this stuff out and you use that to, can you see that, to polish. And like on stuff like this, it does a really good job of uh, polishing that up. I don't know what's in it. It's got a real distinctive smell to it. But anyway, we're gonna see if we can do the Guardian belt with this stuff first. All right, so that's it's kind of like it's shining it. There's not much coming off it. You see on there, the residue coming off, but it's not really doing much of a job. So now I'm gonna try the other stuff. All right, so auto sole metal polish. It's a bit like toothpaste. So when we open her up, let's see, I'll squeeze something, oh, bloody, oh, oh bloody hell. Try and save some of that, but yeah, it comes out. Oh, this one's most probably been sitting too bloody long. But yeah, it's just like a creamy paste. So I've used this on heaps of things. So obviously on Harry the Boulevard, um, on the posty bikes when, uh, especially Charlie, when I was doing all the, on the engine, um, I was using this stuff and it just done a fantastic job of doing it. Can't rave any more about this stuff. All right, let's have a shot at doing this bell. So I'll go on the opposite opposite side from where we did before. And just now, I think there's a couple of different ways you can I'd like apply it. Then you let it dry, and then you buff it off. But what I normally do is because I'm an impatient person, look, straight away you can already see how much of the crap's coming off onto the rag. I just keep bloody rubbing at it. And look at look at that! Look at the difference compared to what this one had come off it to what you've got on that one. And then you'd let this dry a little bit, but I'll just kind of rub just straight away now. And 
and you can already see that that's starting to shine up way more than what that one did. Hopefully that you can see that in the, um, in the screen. All right, I'll just continue on. All right guys, so I actually took it off the bike because it was just gonna be a whole lot easier to take off, but hopefully you can see that. All shined up. I was nearly gonna put it in the vise and get the, uh, what are you barking at? Put it in the vise and get the uh, the buffing thing on it, but um, I just sat here and just used so you can see all the crap that's come off it. Crazy, all right, we'll whack it back on. Bloody fat, fat head. What are you doing? What are you doing? You always gotta be in the way, don't you? Go on, move your butt. Move, move, move. All right, guys, there you go. That's it, all shined up. Should keep Harry safe for a little bit longer. What do you reckon, Pooks? Should have used you to polish them. <laughs> tip for the whippersnappers. All right, guys, so we've got a tip for the uh, whippersnappers, and it's just out here. Here it is, look at that. It's a chopping block. <laughs> Call that a man cave chopping block. All right, guys, so, basically I wanted a chopping block because normally I'm either on bricks out there or on concrete and I've got little logs, but they're always, if I put it out here, it's all unstable. So I wanted just something small and simple, something that I can pick up, move around, maybe put it in there up on the, on the, on the bricks so I'm at standing height. They're all just, um, leftover bits of wood pellets and all that kind of stuff so I don't know how long it'll last but basically what I did in actual fact I should say that Nay um, clamped all these so I cut them all the same length Nay glued and clamped them you don't you could, I could have glued it then put this surrounding thing on there so there's just pellet stuff and I've just screwed it in just to reinforce it all and I'll put that on there um, it just makes it really stable. And basically that's it. You want to see me, uh, me bad chopping skills? Oh, I love it when the wood cuts all right. There you go guys, so that's a uh, tip for the whippersnappers. Actually guys, I just quickly, uh, the reason why I did that was because of this um, fiscus axe. Me being lazy, me being stupid, chopping wood on the bricks over there, not thinking I'm going to hit the bricks. Um, but if I get out of this shot, I should be able to get a, you can see those notches. Yeah, see in there. That's why I did it, because I'm a dickhead. All right, guys, so now it's time to see if we can make the outside of Nay's woodshed look a little bit better. Let's go. All right, guys, you'll have to excuse Nay. She's got what she calls her feral jacket on. <laughs> it's big and warm. Yeah. We managed to get this big, huge pallet. It's like super long which means that we've got really long um, pieces to be able to do around this door and they're, they're quite, uh, they're actually thicker than the normal pallets, that wood. So I'm gonna do around that and then also we're even gonna do around this window here. So what I wanted to do was to give you guys 
a bit of a look to see how ugly this little section is down through there so then hopefully when we've um, put all this up and painted it and everything yeah, it might look bloody good ah beautiful look at that magical see it we've had to resort back to the hammer God, that's loud. because uh, the width of this <clears throat> because they've got two boards in here so we're knocking these ones out so then we can use the pry bar thing on there. Working a treat. Easy peasy. Alright, let's see how our little tool goes. Oop. Yeah, magic. Alright, well I'll leave her to do all the hard work. <laughs> I'll bring you down here guys because I'm just spray painting this thing up and it's being green. What that's for is, that's going to be the start line for out at the proving ground um, for the time, the off-road time track. Now some people have mentioned like a, a, it's not a race, this is not for racing, just putting it out there. But you will find out soon what it's all about. Cool. So, one pallet dismantled. It's got heaps of good wood. Nay's already saying she'll be, uh, she's loving that for making the signs. So you want to grab one of those and put it up there. Just stand it up. See how good I am if I just get her to do stuff? Jesus, look at that. Plenty of wood. It'll be fabulous. That's it. So frame that up. Beautiful. Work a treat. So we're not going to do a, a, a miter cut. We're just going to go there and then run it straight across like that. Alright guys, so there it is. That's the uh, archway, we'll call it. It's amazing how much taller that door looks and wider, yet it isn't. So it's getting a bit late now, I'm actually going to go have some tea. So we're going to do the same for that window over there, but we've got to clean up all this stuff to get in there and do all that. So we'll see you tomorrow. guys so I've got all that bloody stuff cleaned up it's the next day um, I just wanted to show you I'm just putting um, liquid nails on the boards because basically on here there's just this really thin bit of architrave or whatever you want to call it in there to hammer onto so all out here is all loose but that liquid nails has really done the bloody trick so now I'm ready to start doing this uh, window. I'll just give you a close up of how shitty these bloody, uh, this wood stuff is. So basically, this is all I've got to, uh, to nail into. Uh, it's 
I mean, it's still solid. It's pretty just ratty looking. Cool, so we'll get into it. Gonna have to go old school on this because there's a big gap where the nails have to go through, so I've got to get the old hammer and nails. Well, there you go, guys. That's it. That's the window now done. It's all basically that what I want to get done done. There we go, door and window, and I reckon Nay's had a had a look at it, and she reckons it's made it look a, a whole lot better. So now all I got to do is um, paint it all up. So we we're talking about painting it. We started going with white and nice blues and all this kind of classical stuff. <laughs> and that was last night. Um, but today coming out here, I'm looking at it and it's just, it'll make it look like a doll's house or something like that. So I'm gonna paint that the same color as that over there, which is um, woodland gray. And then, so basically all this stuff will get painted, the inside, the door, and then obviously all this, and then I'll, I'll clean up all this stuff and paint all that as well. Then, not too sure what we're going to now do with the door. We're going to put a sign on there, obviously, but I don't know whether I want to put some type of wood thing or if, I don't know. I don't know, but you're going to find out. I'm just going to paint this and come back to you when it's all done. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. That is now a done deal. Um, I'll give you a close up look in a minute. Um, I just wanted to say so the wood cost me nothing, it was just free pellet wood. The paint cost nothing because it was actually leftover paint from when we painted the, uh, when I got Matt to paint the gate. And I've also used that same paint um, on there as well. And I've still got paint left over. Uh, the sign, which was just a leftover wood scraps from out of nice thing and just her paint bits and pieces that she's got. So yeah, bloody crazy. All right, let's have a bit of a close up. So for starters, here it is what it was and here it is now. And I reckon that has definitely made an improvement on it. That's the uh, the wood sign. That was my, actually my idea. I thought, no, I'll do the whole deal. I'm doing it for Nay. So it is a bit of a close up. So it's just bare pellet wood. Window down here. I reckon it turned out pretty bloody good. And don't worry, I didn't paint the door shut. <laughs> cool, back to the man cave. Actually guys, before we uh, go back to the man cave, look at that, walking into the shed. So I reckon now I'm gonna um, try and get some lighting done in here. It's not too bad at the moment because it's daylight, but at night time, there you go, look at that. Okay, so that sticker that arrived today, there it is there, Bytown Motorcycle Association, which is in Canada. Is it Quebec or is it Ontario? I don't know, hang on, I'll, I'll read it out and then we'll know. Um, there's also a postcard from there. And I think that is Glenora Ferry, quite picturesque. Greetings from Prince Edward County, Ontario, Canada. And it's from uh, Steve Treasure. Thanks, mate. All right. Yeah, what does Steve say? Uh, hello, Mark and Nay. I, oh, I need me bloody... Need me short lookers. All right. Hello, Mark and Nay. I, uh, I sent a sticker from the BMA. 
Bytown Motorcycle Association to which I belong. I ride a Suzuki DR as well. Bytown is the former name of our nation's capital, uh, Ottawa, which is located on the Ottawa River in the province of Ontario. Um, across the river is the neighbouring province of Quebec. I live about two hours south in the small rural town of Picton, located at the eastern end of Lake Ontario on what is now really a large island called Prince Edward County. Not to be confused with Prince Edward Island, which is on the Atlantic seaboard. Oh, man. I've bit me bloody tongue. And I reckon it <laughs> feels like it's really fat and I'm talking bloody stupid. I talk stupid when I read these anyway. But <laughs> um, Prince Edward County is one of the oldest Canadian settlements and was first settled by those loyal to the Crown who fled there during the American Revolution. Lots of history and great writing here. As your map won't have this much detail, just use Ottawa as your sticking point. Love your channel and what you and they get up to. Your enthusiasm is a joy and inspiration. Best wishes and safe riding. Regards, Steve Treasure. Bloody ripper, mate. Thanks heaps. Alrighty, so here is the sticker. And so we've got Canada. And it was this one here. There is the one to use. That's where he is in there. All right, so now we'll go and whack this over in the man cave because this is the stable. <laughs> All right, and the postcard, do like thing. There it is there, and of course I defaced all over it. <laughs> Beauty, mate. Thanks heaps again, Steve. Well, that is it, guys. That is Man Cave Tuesday done and dusted for another week. Um, hope you guys have a great week. Remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on bloody keeping on.